Mm, that's a dang good small that's a big smallmouth. <laughs> little roadside spillway. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is different, guys. We've never done anything like this before on the channel. We're doing some roadside fishing. So we're down here in Gulf Shores, Alabama at the beach for vacation. As you can see behind me, we've got this small public lake and it is fresh water, but it also connects to the salt water of the Gulf. So we're gonna have some different species in here, stuff that I've never fished before, like redfish and trout. So that'd be awesome to knock those off the bucket list and catch a couple of them but there's also some bass so that's mainly what we're going to be targeting but there's gator crossing signs everywhere it's a high populated area of gators so it's a little sketchy but it ain't gonna bother us too much so let's get all this fishing stuff ready dang it is really windy out here but uh it should set up good you know we've got cloud cover it rained all last night and this morning uh we're gonna be fishing back in this little cove so I really think it's gonna set the fish up good for us. But real quick, let's go over what we've got. Uh, we went to Walmart and only got two things to fish with. I didn't bring any of my tackle down here. I actually had to buy a rod, but we've got some five inch Cinco style baits and some flukes. I'm really, I mean, I don't know what I'm doing with the trout and redfish, but I'm hoping that the flukes might catch them. And then, you know, the Cinco's are definitely gonna catch the bass, but I got some Seaguar Red Label 15 pound test. We're gonna spool up real quick. We actually picked up this rod. I know guys, they didn't have ducking at Walmart. So I got this real tree combo. I didn't even know they made rod and reels. So we're about to give it a try. It's a seven foot medium heavy with a seven three to one gear ratio reel. So we're gonna give it the ultimate test. It's like a $79 rod. Spooling her up, we're about to get ready. All right, let's go take a first look. Got a bunch of cattails growing up on the side, so gonna make it a little difficult. I really ain't got a, oh, I just seen one blow up right there. All right, we're gonna get out of these cattails because it's more open area. This wind is blowing straight in right here to this uh, little pocket. So we're gonna make the swap to the fluke. It's just gonna act like a bait fish being swept in by the wind into this cove. I think that'll be better than this, uh, than that little worm. Hmm. Oh crap. I just seen something big come up. Uh, I'm not sure if it was a gator or a massive turtle, but I'm about to scoot away from the edge, just a hair. We are about to make a quick little move. Oh, we are moving to the next spot. This, boys, is why I bought a boat and why I fish from a boat. <laughs> I do not miss having to jump from spot to spot. But we got some other guys roadside fishing right there. I'm just gonna have to find me a spot. Hopefully, hopefully there's some bass fish loaded in the spot, bud. Got a little roadside spillway right here alongside the road. I was not expecting that at all. <sighs> nice. I think that's a trout, but I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never fished down here, <laughs> especially inshore, so we'll let this guy go. Heck yeah. I was starting to lose confidence in that thing that's gonna catch anything. The old weightless fluke prevailed. Dude, he, 
he railed that thing that was fun that was real fun hopefully we can catch another one so when i was choosing these baits you know i i chose the the cinco for bass and the fluke you know everything will eat a fluke you know this is imitating a bait fish there's bait fish that look like this everywhere whether it be salt water or fresh water so i figured that was a good choice that just goes to show that it was well i guess i do kind of know what i'm doing kind of <laughs> i think that was pure luck i ain't got a clue honestly guys i'm ready to go somewhere i can catch a bass i don't even know if any live in here google says there's bass in here so google wouldn't lie to me now would it y'all know any good spots to go catch a bass i think you're in the wrong part of the country <laughs> i know uh, I have no idea. <laughs> uh oh, man, it just started pouring. We're gonna get out of this rain for a second. Well, that don't look good. Real quick guys, I wanna give an update on what's going on in this video. So we actually just got back from vacation. And as you saw, I caught my PB speckled trout. It's the only trout I've ever caught. So it's my personal best. So that's a mission accomplished. That's something cool, something I wanted, wanted to get done and we got it done. So didn't really know what I was doing, but we made it happen. But guys, this video is far from over because we've got the Falcon hooked up and we're about to go chase some bass. Look at that beautiful sunrise. We're about to have a good day. Is that a smallmouth? Nice. Ooh, that's a dang good smallmouth. That's a big smallmouth. <laughs> Justin got a big old smallie first fish of the morning. Over here. Thanks, man. Oh, wow. Look at that shad down his throat. That's a good small one. <laughs> Dang, that's awesome. First fish of the morning, boys. Justin with the with the toad smallie on the top water. Dude, that was insane. He crushed that. That's awesome. Small mouth release, beautiful sunrise. Boys, it is on. It is on. Let's go. <sighs> that can't say much. She reminds me of somebody I know. Little dude. Oh, he spit it. I had my first fish. It was a whole lot smaller than Justin's. I got my I got I got my work cut out for me. Just this big old smallie. That's a little bit better one, I think. He's swimming like a madman. <laughs> oh boys. Oh boy. Oh, oh it's the biggest. It's not the biggest hey, Justin. Look, they're going behind you. Look, big small mouth. Hurry. Come on, man. Just just drop it. Just drop it. <laughs> yeah, it is. Justin's trying to be a cameraman. Big fish blowing up behind the boat. You better get him, dude. Dude. Oh yes. This is exactly what I wanted. Exactly what I wanted. Some dude just to pull up right in front of me. Oh, there he was. He stole my worm, look at that. Cast right out there. Arr, little thief, little worm thief.
Ned. That's what a Ned rig. That's what a Ned rig will catch you right there. That's right, boy. <laughs> Look at that. Actually, well, he it. had it for about five minutes. So I guess it's at the hook. Well, that's the fourth time I've hooked him. <laughs> uh oh, there's one. That's a good one. Looks like. Dude, Justin's wearing me out from the back of the boat. That's a big one. Oh crap! It is. It is a big one. <laughs> we were just joking around. It really is a good one. Yeah, I'll get this one. Justin showed me up. He caught a big small mouth. Now he caught a good large mouth. Yep, 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 yep. Uh oh. Bring him over here. <laughs> my line. He got my line tangled up. Dude, he was barely. Barely. No, hooked. he wasn't barely. I got him. He was barely hooked. Look at this monster right here, son. Got lines everywhere. Go. Down in the drain. Well, you gotta say, I mean, you really are putting a hammer on me. Oh, well, I mean, that's that's how it goes, right? I said I was gonna catch 20 today. Yeah. 20 pounds or 20 fish. We don't know which one we're gonna be yet, but we're gonna get there. <laughs> There's one. No, oh, are you kidding me? Brethren, brethren, what are you doing? These dang fish are being so finicky today, dude. This is like, I don't think I've ever seen it this finicky. Well, not this year, at least. Justin, again. Get him jump, yeah, yeah, get him jump. He said, no, I see you, Jordan. I seen your boat up here last week. There he went. Is that got Ned Rig, dude. Ned Rig, off the ledge, baby, 22 feet. <laughs> Justin's drag was going crazy. This might be a big one. Might be a big old drum. Yeah. He ain't coming up. Let me tighten this up a little bit. If that's a bass, that's a big one. I don't think it's a bass. He's shaking his head, though. Yeah. Oh, I tell uh, Catfish. Uh, good eating, bod. Let's go, <laughs> baby. Some good eating, bod. Welcome, welcome to the Justin. The Justin Fishing Show. The Justin Fishing Show, guys. Let me, some, let me get some of this slime in your boat. Yeah, let's not. All right, grab it, man. I can't grab it. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh! Oh, no. Oh, man, my only one. <laughs> oh, no. On a catfish, too. Well, I'll try not to get him any boat, you know. Oh, man. Was it worth it? No. The I Justin Show again. I'll be a decent fish. Oh gosh, it's big. Is it? Uh, he's not, he's not big. <laughs> he's a big. Hey, that's a good spot. Monster spot. Oh, let me don't break this. Uh, let me try not to yeah, break this uh, one. Yeah, don't break that one. That's how they eat the Ned boys. You see that? They are eating the Ned. I tried to tell him to get a spinning reel out. Well, he broke his. He's gotten the only one I've got on the deck. Need pliers? a little bit better that gum acrobat <sighs> well, yes sir come here little spotted bass he popped right out popped right out come here little little spotted boss little spotted boss you were very fun guys we're putting the camera on justin because he's straight up whacking me <laughs> That fish has been caught about 25 times, <laughs> beating the head. Look at his two tails. That gum. This is how much Jordan fishes out here. He's been throwing that jig all day, been beating him in the head. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, crap. That is a decent one. He smoked that thing, dude. Large mouth. Smoker. It's 
a good keeper. All right, guys, let's do a little recap of what happened in this video. So we started off in Gulf Shores fishing a spillway, caught my personal bass speckled trout, the only one I've ever caught. Learned something new. You know, I caught it on a weightless fluke. I was kind of my thought process behind it was, you know, almost every fish feeds on bait fish. And what that weightless fluke does is it's imitating a bait fish. And there's bait fish literally everywhere. Rivers, streams, salt water, fresh water, you name it, there's gonna be bait fish in there. So that was kind of my idea behind it. Uh, I only stayed out there for about two hours and I caught one trout. So that was a mission accomplished. And then, you know, we just got back, we went out, chased some bass and we caught them. You know, it was a slow day. They weren't pulling hardly any current super hot justin actually <laughs> wrecked him in the back of the boat he showed me up there's a bunch of clips that actually i'll admit i didn't put them in there because i was embarrassed you know the dude wrecked me on a spinning rod i can't be showing that to all y'all but anyways guys if you enjoyed this video please make sure to give it a like and please make sure to hit that subscribe button guys stay tuned for more weekly videos and we will see you in the next one